Hi everyone, welcome to Val's Tales. I'm Val Fortelli, writer of these stories. I'm Val's sister, Wendy Walker, and I'm the narrator. And Wendy's daughter, Jazz, is our producer. Every fortnight, we'll bring you a new story. Sometimes funny, sometimes sad, always thought-provoking. Settle down, the story is about to start. Before we begin this week's episode, we have some exciting news. In addition to YouTube, we've now launched the show as a podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music and Podbean. You can find us by searching Val's Tales on any of those platforms and we'll continue publishing new episodes every other Tuesday. Some years ago, a friend was visiting the National Trust property at Kingston Lacey, and her photos inspired this short story. Recently, a well-known family member from Children's TV brought it back to mind with his mention of odd socks. Odd socks and broomsticks. Lacey was excited. Grandma had gone away for the day and left her second best broomstick unattended. Although the girl had been forbidden to touch it, she was finding it harder and harder to resist. Surely it wouldn't hurt to just go for a quick spin around the yard. No one would know, and after all, she was 16 and would be finishing her witching apprenticeship soon. How was she to learn the practicalities if she wasn't allowed to try? Tentatively, Lacey edged towards the broomstick and stretched out one hand. As her fingers lightly touched the handle, she jumped back in alarm. It felt slimy, as if hundreds of snails had crawled along its surface. Not only was that gross, it would be slippery to ride and she would fall off. She should have realised the old witch would have left some sort of spell on it. Not to be defeated, Lacey browsed through her textbooks, hoping to find some way to overcome the problem. Nothing there. In a huff, she wandered into the kitchen to make a cup of tea, when suddenly the hanging clothes rack caught her eye. If magic wouldn't help, perhaps plain inventiveness would. She managed to pull down one of the black and white socks and wrapped it firmly around the handle. Perfect. It seemed the stripes had confused the spell. Returning to fetch the matching sock, she hit another barrier. It kept jumping out of her reach, and just the one on its own was not enough. Snatching at the pink sock, she managed to hold on to it, and soon had that too wrapped around the broomstick handle. Climbing aboard, she made herself comfortable, adopted the correct position, took a deep breath, and whispered the starting words. Whoosh! The broom took off like a rocket, and for a while, Lacey struggled to keep her balance. She hadn't expected it to be quite so fast, but soon got the hang of things and even tried some gentle drops, lifts and turns. This was fun! As her confidence grew, she decided to make the most of the opportunity. Pulling back hard on the stick, she flew over the garden gate and into the open fields beyond. Swooping and weaving, she forgot the time until in the distance she noticed Grandma returning. In a panic, she steered for home, but had forgotten the words to stop. Nearly crashing into the garden fence, she just managed to haul up high enough to avoid it, although one of the socks snagged on a protruding nail. Doing a U-turn to try another approach, the socks began to unravel and before long there were streamers of black, white and pink trailing behind her. Why hadn't she done as she was told? Maybe if she'd asked Granny properly, she wouldn't be in this fix now, slipping and sliding on the gooey mess of the now bare broomstick handle. Eventually, she managed to turn back into the kitchen before falling off and landing with a bump, bruising her knees on the rough stone floor. At least the broom had stopped moving and returned to its usual place in the corner. With a bit of luck, Grandma wouldn't even notice and Lacey could get away with it. Just as she got to her feet, the door opened and the old witch entered. 
everything been okay? She asked. Be a good girl and make me a cup of tea. All that flying this afternoon has plum worn me out. What on earth have you done to your knees? Fine, Grandma. Oh, that. I slipped and grazed them on some rough stones when I was out walking through the woods. I'll go and put the kettle on. Phew, she'd got away with it. Maybe she would even have another go next time the old witch went out for the day. Lacey, when you come in, could you bring my black socks from the kitchen? They should be dry by now and my feet are cold. Oh dear, perhaps she wasn't in the clear after all. She couldn't even blame losing the odd socks on the washing machine. <laughs> well, it hadn't been invented yet. Thanks for listening. If you're enjoying these stories, please subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, Podbean or our YouTube channel. You can also follow Val's Tales on social media. Details coming up.